in the dark for their hero. Sparks, Sparks definitely waiting on him just to get the pick on Grimm there as he has been picking them apart. And a great play there by Apostle. He's coming through, going crazy with that 74U. Again, oh my goodness, takes out three players. And wow, what a play there by Apostle. Four players, my bad. So he moves into the bridge house here, and that's definitely what we expect from Apostle. back from the Chicago land right now we are bringing to you JCP team number one no staff versus JCP team number two uh, we're in round two um, we're on urban assault JCP beat uh, 316 to get here and um, JCP number two beat forever one alongside me casting I have Haunter from I-9 how's it going Haunter uh, it's gone pretty good. Uh, it's been a nice experience so far at the LAN. I didn't expect to be so many teams here. We are just waiting for all the teams to get in, for all the players to get in the server. We're just waiting for uh, Rune. We got um, we got some money and beer on the line over here. Um, <laughs> Stan bet uh, Sean of uh, JCP team number two that they wouldn't beat him and. Um, if JCP team number two wins, Stan is going to give Sean $7,700. If uh, JCP team number two loses, Sean has to buy Stan one beer. I mean, I think that's all Stan can drink anyway, so that's all that matters. But um, 
I uh, would just like to also mention that um, Sean has already lost the bet and owes Banana a six pack of beer. Yeah, it's And a apparently JCP team number two is in their underwear. Uh, they are, they have just put up a barrier between the two teams because in the actual lands. And we are live here now. All right, we got Rune heading into West Objective. Dtraf is at Delta. Stan is playing in the Big Hole or Charlie West, and he is trying to shoot whoever is going into the East Objective. Dingy is playing in the East Vantage. Noodle is playing in East. He knows Stan is probably watching him. They know each other's strats, so he's not peeking over there. And Slidell is on the yellow stairs taking a look at West. It looks like both these teams are uh, taking a slow, trying to get an easy pick to make an early advantage. What do you think, Chris? Yeah, they're taking it kind of slow. Uh, we got some fire over here. It looks like a uh, banana gun with the AR. F fighting Sean and Banana Gun takes Sean down in Alpha West. Rune is firing on Slidell over at the small hole area and takes Slidell down either next to the small hole or on yellow. Yeah, he's uh, using those slats to his advantage. Uh, we got uh, D-Trap moving up on Delta, trying to see if he can flank around east. And he's pushing up, trying to get the, uh, the angle. Uh, as he jumps down, uh, he's pushing around, pushing around. Uh oh, uh oh, he's running up, running up. Maybe he's getting some help from Yellow. I think he hears Dingy if he's still in the vantage. I'm not sure. We're gonna keep our cameras here on D-Traf because he's pushing into East. He's in, now in a firefight with Noodle, and he takes him down. And Dingy is taken down by Rune. Flawless round for JCP team number one. <laughs> <laughs> JCP number one is the uh, early tournament favorites to walk away with the championship, so they're pretty excited about beating their second team. Uh, here we start off round two. Um, looks like they're going to their usual spots. Traff going Delta. Uh, going up. Oh, he's running up the alleyway. You're going to see if he can pick off a guy going window. Just taking it slow, making him run to him so he can get the easy pick. And it looks like he has nobody. Oh, we got some early action. Oh, Stan takes Stan. out Sean. Whoa, he takes him out in front of West. <laughs> Banana Gun takes down Slidell. Oh, we got some more action behind Oh, East. we have two guys behind East now. Oh, uh, Dingy's taking some heavy fire from uh, Yellow. And Noodle was taken down by Detrass Grenade behind uh, East. It is now Dingy 1 vs 4 against JCP team number 1. They are all screaming and, and merging on him. They're just playing games with them. Oh, wow. I feel sorry for Dingy. At least they didn't flash him. <laughs> oh, Dingy is taken oh, wow. down by Stan with the gun drop. With the gun drop at the end of the round. Oh wow, he actually, Dingy took off his shirt and hopped around the land center after he died. Wow. Wow. Everyone's just going to the normal spots again. Everyone's checking out the slats, going to see if we can pick that guy off of yellow. Oh, Stan is going to take down Noodle. And over by Eastern Objective. Looks like Stan is already around the side of East over here. Pre-firing a dead body, but he takes down Dingy, who's coming out of the vantage as well. There's another guy coming from East Vaughn who Stan also takes down. Stan with three kills this round already. I think he's going for the ace. What do you think? He's going for the quick ace over here. It's only been 40 seconds. And... Oh, he had to reload. D-Traff takes him down. D-Traff with the ace steal. Wow. All right, they have a strong lead with a three up, up on the easy side. I'm going to consider West to be an easier side than East. And we are live again. And the traffic going to his usual spot, going down Delta. I'm trying to get that easy pick. <laughs> they're yelling at each other next, they actually sit next to each other in the land, so they're shooting at each other. Oh! 
Oh, Ooh, dang it. Banana Gun is taken down by Sean. Warpaint is behind us saying how embarrassing that is for Banana Gun. Sean puts up with a lot of flack because he is considered JCP's staff. So, I mean, getting that big kill on Banana is probably going to boost his confidence for the rest of the match. It's almost like when uh, Nina got that easy kill up on Mad in the finals match a few years ago. If any of you guys remember that. <laughs> it looks like Noodle's waiting it out in East trying to get the pick on the guys coming Delta. Noodle's getting smoked out over here in East. Just spamming through that smoke, hoping to get a kill at the central stairs. We actually have two guys in East. And Slidell seems to be stuck in middle alley or is just not moving because he doesn't want the enemy to hear him. We are currently in a 3v3 situation with both teams losing a guy in the early 30 seconds. A smoke just landed at Sean's feet. Stan is in the big hole, Charlie West, peeking the side of East. And Sean has a nade and he's... Um, I think he just flashed a teammate, no? It's not a teammate, that is Rune in the small hole that he's flashing. Uh, will he get the other... Oh, wow! Staff team takes the oh. win with the objective. They took one. the objectives. Uh-oh, can they come back? That was Slidell, I believe, went up the middle alley and took the west objective. Playing it sneaky. We got someone spamming down middle alley. Stan spamming down middle alley, hoping to get an early pick. Throwing some smokes out. Uh, I think he's um, trying to get them when they come around the corner of west. Oh, yep, he picks off Stan. Oh, so JCP team number two got the first kill. They're going to see if they can uh, push to their advantage. Let's see, we got Slido moving up top to yellow. Trying to see if he can pick out the guy going with Charlie West. Got some grenades going back and forth, trying to do some spam to get the guys at the usual spots. We have Sean, who's red, uh, with getting fired upon from the back of West. Oh! Slidell's taken out by Banana Gun, top of yellow. Sean gets taken down by Ruin from back of West, and we have a uh, 3v1 situation here. Er, 3v... 3v2. 3v2, 3v2. We got Noodle inside of East, and uh... Banana Gun is trying to peek him, and he does, but yes, he does take him down. Banana Gun takes down Noodle from top of yellow. It is Rune and ben Rune, Banana Gun, and D Trap versus Dingy. Dingy is in the middle alley and is under the Bravo Central hole. He's just chilling, listening for some enemies. I think they're going for the kill here instead of the objectives. D Trap is clearing out the objective, but no one's in there. Dingy's moving up the stairs, takes down Banana Gun. He's under fire from D-Traff, and D-Traff takes him down in the back of East. The score is now 4-1 to one in favor of JCP, no staff. Well, at least the staff can say they have not gotten skunked yet. They got that one round. We do not want to know what would happen if they would have gotten skunked. Alright, team number one is doing their usual thing. Three west with some spam. Ruin's going up to the back of ba back of West, see if we can pick the guy off uh, Alpha 10 spot. Uh, D Trap's pushing up Delta. Oh, we got somebody in the windows. Can you get him? Can you get him? Oh, yes. D Trap got the pick on Dingy, and then Stan was taken out by Sean. Sean seems to have Stan's number. Noodle is actually in a fire. Oh, Banana Gun was taken down by Slido. That's over at West. They seem to be pushing and coordinating uh, up on west. Looks like they have it smoked up and they're spam grenading it. Rune is west. No, he's not there. Sean is actually moving down the Alpha Alley. Uh, he's trying to see uh, if he can pick him off when they come to get him. They know he's back behind West. Oh, uh, D-Trav gets the pick on Noodle, so it is now a uh, 
2v2 situation. A ruin still holding down west. Traff is covering the other side of the map from Delta. Looks like we have guys pushing up on yellow and behind east. Slido fell back to her towards uh, east to cover it as Noodle was taken down by D Traff earlier. If you're just tuned in and now, you see we have two JCP teams um, facing off against each other at the land in the second round. We have Team 1 and we have Team 2. The score is currently 4 to 1 in favor of Team 1 of JCP. Less than a minute left on the clock here. We're going to see the team start to make a move or play for the tie, but these two teams, you know, they're part of the same team. And d -traf is taken down by Slide Out down the middle alley. So as I was saying, these, uh, these two teams are part of the same online team, so they're not going to play for a tie here. They're going to play for the kills. Sean is actually under west, and Rune is out back of west. It is Slidell and Sean versus Rune. Rune is under fire. Oh, and Rune takes down Sean. We have a 1v1 situation now with less than 20 seconds. They can either go for the tie, or they can try to pick each other off and get the win. Both teams have one objective each, I believe. Slidell is making the push on west. He knows the Rune is behind there. Six seconds left. We got some fire taking place. Mission failed. Oh, wow! The time expired. I don't. I guess that's a tie. The score is four to one to one. We have one round left on this side. Let's see if uh, they can make it close. But it looks like we might see an east rush here because, yep, they are rushing over the top for an East Rush over here, Dtraff and Stan. Stan takes down Noodle on the East Stairs. He's telling Dtraff to take the objective. Oh, he does not oh. see it. Dtraff is taken down by Sean because Stan oh. failed to cover And Stan is taken down by Dingy. They got a little overconfident there. Stan pulling out the flash. Oh, hit there, encircled around east. Uh, Ruin comes in with a big kill behind yellow on Dingy. So we're now at a 2v2 situation. Ruin's coming to pick on Slidell. Oh, Ruin is taken down by Slidell. And we have a 2v1. Banana Gun is outside of east, and Slidell is pushing up on west. One versus one here, Banana Gun versus Slidell. Banana is outside east, and Slidell is in the Bravo Central Hole. Like Banana's reloading his AR over here. Let me try to see it, because he knows he's going to go on top of yellow, because that's the best place to get the pick off if someone's around east. He's playing it slow, cautiously. I'm trying to see if you can hear him pushing up on him. Uh, they're exchanging some fire up on top between yellow and east. Uh, Banana Gun just taking that peak, taking the peak. See if he can get the nice easy pill, the headshot. Uh, incoming grenade. Oh, flash. Can Slide Out come through with a clutch? Get the last win that his team needs to go into the half only down four to two one. Uh, time's running out. Less than forty seconds left. Banana gun might even bleed to death. He's red. Uh, uh, so push. Can you do it? Oh, banana gun with the kill and the win to make it five one one. They're going into the half. Swapping rounds, getting demos racks going.
All right, we're at halftime now. We are switching sides. Let's get, we'll just give you a little update on the brackets. Um, we have um, Unreasonable Owners beat Clutch Gaming. Eight, in the cast before you saw, ATX took down I-19 number 2 and sent I-19 number 2 into the loser's bracket. I-19 number 2 will be facing Clutch Gaming on Urban Assault for in the loser's bracket. Um, we also saw Forever, Forever One and H and D, Honor and Death, sent into the losers brackets. Honor and Death with a loss to 0 0.5, half and half, and Forever One with a loss to JCPT number two. Other matches are still underway right now as we are bringing you this live cast. They're currently in a dead round. Um, during this, uh, we want to thank our, some of our sponsors, Erev, for helping us provide the casting information and equipment, as well as DoubleTree, the hotel for hosting us. It looks like we're about to go live, so here we go. No staff, JCP team number two is losing with one round one. Looks like JCP, uh, the team number two, is going to send two west and two either Delta or the other side of the map. Noodle is uh, nading, early nade. Slidell is Delta, hoping to get a pick at back of east. Banana Gun is already central stairs. He knows Slidell is somewhere over there near Delta. Banana Gun just called out Slidell actually falling back from Delta over here. We, I just heard him call it out. Uh, it looks like team number one has done a strong push of Delta to try and get them all to go around west. We'll cut off their locations. Get the pick. Oh, D-Trap's taken out by Slidell behind Charlie West. Oh, Stan has him centered. Stan is red. Looks like Slidell's waiting for him to come around the corner so he can get that pick. Let's see if Stan can do some teamwork here. I think Slidell heard him run away. Oh, Slidell takes down Stan again on the outside of Charlie West. He slowed that down pretty well. What do you think, Chris? We are in a two verse four situation now in favor of JCP team number two. Um, pretty impressive here for this. Uh, I didn't think it would be going like this, but it is. Everyone's just playing it slow. Banana Gun is still on no central stairs. He hasn't moved since like the beginning of the round. Well, I think. And Rune is in the small hole. Go ahead. Uh, well, I think he knows that uh, Slidell's playing Charlie West pretty strong right now. He doesn't want to push him because they're down 2-4. Two two so he doesn't want to make a 1-4. Well, I guess some fire going exchange between Ruin and whoever's in West. They might be playing for the tie. Banana got the pick on Slidell at Charlie West. Ruin's trying to pick out the guy in West. Oh, he got it. Sean taken down by Ruin. Right, is he going to push in? Is he going to push in and take the... Oh, two guys behind West. They want the tie, at least. Ruin is taken down in the West hallway by Dingy. It is now a one versus 2 situation in favor of JCP number 2. Two seconds. Time's going to run. And we have another tie round. 5-1-2. to two is the score. So all JCP needs to do, team number one needs to do, is one more, win one more round or have one more tie and they should wrap up this win. In a strong fashion. All right, yep, we cannot have any more tie rounds. One more tie round will result in a win for JCP team number one. taking the objective if he doesn't want to get a man down. Oh, Dingy is killed by Stan's grenade. 
stands playing top of yellow. I guess the dinghy was taken out behind West. Uh, Noodle's making a push into Alpha, trying to see if they can cut off that half of the map. Up, oh, he retires back to underneath West. Uh, slide has fallen back to hold off that side of the map of Delta. He hears some smokes going on. Sean's trying to pick off everyone at the top of Yellow. Yellow hole. And Banana Gun's pushed up to Alpha windows. He's red. Oh, Banana, banana Gun's gun taken, is taken by down by Sean. Rune looks like he's spamming either a smoke or a nade towards the side of... It was a nade, he threw it back a west. We are in a 3 vs 3 situation here, I believe. Noodle is playing on the ladder, he's coming up in front of west. Noodle is taking some fire from, looks like, the side of east or central stairs. That is Rune in central stairs putting that fire on Noodle. D-Trap is moving over into the Vantage, you know, you know, to give some cover uh, everywhere else. He's watching under West and side of West. Oh, Stan takes that Noodle. Making a 1v3 situation here. Stan coming up with a big flank as Rune was distracting him. Can Sean hold off the push? Oh, he's pushing up on him, pushing up on him. Stan. Oh, Sean oh. kills. Sean takes down Stan, but then in turn is taken out by D-Traff to finish out the, the game. And I believe that is game. Alright, it looks like they're playing it out over here. JCP Team 1 did come up with a win, but they decided to play it out because it's only a few more rounds. So that drops JCP Team 2 down to the loser's bracket. They cannot lose any more after this one. If they want to advance to play JCP Team 1 again. It looks like D. Travis chilling over here in the corner of Delta, trying to get that pick behind, uh, back by spawn. Stan is Alpha West, looking at the side of West, taking some fire. Slido is taken down by D-Traff, and Banana Gun is taken down by Dingy. I think that leaves us with a 3 vs 3 situation. I think Team 2 wants to make it a close match. They don't want to look that bad, losing 1-1-7. One, one, oh! And D Traff takes down two, Noodle and Dingy. Make it a one versus three situation. Sean versus Rune, D Traff, and Stan. And Sean is stuck inside of West. Sean is taking fire from every angle. They're spamming the doors, they're spamming the windows. Yeah. And he's taken down by D Traff. Was that an ace by D Traff? It was. That was an ace by D Traff. The score is 7 to 1 to 2. Uh, they're talking a little bit of smack between each other because Sean is actually a staff member for Gottfrag as well as JCP, so they want him to include this in the article that D-Trav just got that ace in the round. It didn't matter. It appears like they decided to do an east rush. They had that in comms. Little did they know. Oh, there's two guys covering east. Sean's taken out by Stan, and then Dingy's taken out by Traff as they had two guys covering east. They were ready for that east push. What do you think, Chris? Uh, d traps is taken down by Slidell and Noodle is taken down by Stan. I believe that leaves us with a 1 versus 3 here now. Yet, yeah, and no. Someone take the objective. Looks like uh, Stan might have taken West. That 8 to 1 to 2 in favor of JCP team number 1. Uh, 
Alright, uh, G-Speed number one has already won the match. They're just playing it out to have fun. D-Traff is getting some nades thrown at him. D-Traff is in a firefight with, uh, appears to be Slidell over here. It's actually dingy. Everyone's just waiting for them to peek. Oh, it looks like he got a little flash there. Oh, they took the objectives. Took the objectives again. Alright, looks like we have about uh, two more rounds left. There are two tie rounds, but GCP Team 1 has the 9 to 1 advantage. So they uh, planned it out, trying to get some more rounds won. Kind of rub it in JCP Team 2's favor, because I mean, they already won, apparently. They got their bets won. Noodle taken out by a banana's grenade, and then Slidell shot by D-Traff. D-Traff and Ruin look like they're covering uh, the back of West pretty well. Sean is taken down in the West hallway by D-Traff, as D-Traff talks a little bit of shit to him. And Dingy is taken down by Banana Gun. The score is 10 to 1 to 2 in favor of JCP, and we will be heading into the last round here. All right, let's see what they had to offer. You think they're going to have a nice little rush? Let's see. I don't know. We'll see how they're going to close out this match. JCP versus JCP, last round here. We got spam coming down the middle alley. d trash using a single fire, it looks like. Trying to get that pick. Oh, Banana Gun takes out Sean. Oh, with some taunting going on in the background. You hear him yelling at Sean. Get wrecked. Oh, and Stan just watched Dingy. He, he almost let him get away, but he's probably just teasing him, letting him get away. All right, Noodle takes this taken down by Stan. We have a, three view, a 4v1 situation here. The last member is behind Charlie West stairs. They're applying the pressure. Hey, do you see a clutch ace coming up here? By Slidell. Maybe a kill, but not a clutch ace. Oh, and there's the kill. There's D-Traff. D-Traff's taken down. But Slidell is taken down by Banana Gun to finish off the match. 11 to 1 to 2 in favor of JCP team number 1. It looks like Sean is going to have to buy Stan that one beer. That's it, ladies and gentlemen. We'll bring you more matches a little bit later. Apply directly to the forehead. E-Rev. Apply directly to the forehead. E-Rev is not responsible for any monitor to head-related injuries. Do at your own risk.